Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Hope you guys are doing okay. We are doing a little uh, strength workout today. We also got some hit cardio intervals intermixed. So let's get you guys online here. I'll turn up the music. It's kind of actually nice and cool out today. I wasn't expecting it to feel as good as it did today when I walked outside. Solid. Let's see here. And then again, you're going to need some dumbbells. Um, oh, here we go. Come on. Some dumbbells here today. And then yourself. So good morning and welcome. She's made of music. My poor dog is trying to sleep again. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. She just gives me that. She gives me that look. That's like, really? You're. Uh... Good morning, Amy. Yes. Good morning, Amy. Nice. Welcome. So yes. Um, some dumbbells today. Sorry, I'm just trying to wake up a little bit. <laughs> My apologies. Um, dumbbells. Um. And yeah, you, dumbbells and you today. So we're gonna go um, kind of back and forth between some cardio, so like it's just a quick little hit segment just to get that heart rate up a little bit. And then in between, we're gonna do some strength sets, okay? So nothing too crazy um, with the format, but hopefully it's a good workout and feeling good. How are you guys feeling from the week? Feeling all right? Anyone sore? Anyone, I don't know. What's been a highlight? Anything exciting going on this week for you guys? First week of August, almost done it, you know? Oh man, fall over. So let's give another few seconds here. Get some water with you as well. Okay. And sorry, yes, no Jen today. She um, just is away. So we're just taking a break and you got me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe not as exciting, but hey, you know. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Let me get the volume up here. Perfect. Okay, are we ready? Let's just start off nice and slow. All right, we're gonna get some arm circles going. Anyone do my mobility yesterday? I feel like that was a pretty good one. That felt good to start the day off with a little stretch. Yo, we're just gonna go nice and easy here. Just forward arm circles. Good, again, stand nice and tall. Get those arms all the way around and then we're gonna go backwards. And feel free, you can stay at this place, you know, doing the backward, doing the forward arm circles for as long as you need to, okay? Good, let's finish across our chest. Good, so bring that other arm member on top each time. Good. Let's continue with that upper body, right? So let's get the legs out. We're gonna, in honor of Jen, Jen, the Jen Oliver stretch right here. So reaching across. Stretching over with that arm. Oh yeah, this feels good. Nice. And deep breathing here. Engage that core as you're going side to side, right? Awesome, all right, are you ready? Let's reach down to the center. All right, just let that head hang, arms hang. Good, my hair's getting long here. Good, let's slowly stand on up. Let's go into some butt kickers, okay? So, if you want to start with a little jog, go for it. But eventually we're going to work up and you're going to meet me here at the butt kickers. So, if you don't want to do butt kickers, all right, come right here. All right, so again, do a little hand curl. All right, so again, engage the upper body too. All right, get those arms moving. Good, again, light on those toes if you're still holding those butt kickers. Nice. A few more seconds, you got it. Good. All right, we're gonna do some knee hugs. So you're gonna bring that knee up into your chest. Feel a nice little stretch. Slowly release. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Get those glutes stretched out a little bit. Nice. Good, stand tall. Do one more on each side for me. Then we're gonna go into some jumping jacks. One of my faves. All right, ready? So find some space. You got jacks. Again, here if you need to. All right, tap side to side. Good, get those arms up overhead, legs out wide. We're on our toes. Getting that heart rate up, right? So if you're feeling a little warmer, feeling our breathing increase a little bit. Good, let's stay here, nice straddle position. Good morning, Gwen. 
and we're gonna reach down and rotate. Okay, so reach that opposite hand to that opposite foot. Good, stand tall at the top. Again, good job. Got a nice stretch in those legs too. Feel free to hold that stretch to the bottom if you need to. All right, one more each side. Good. Awesome, all right, let's come back to a little jog here, all right? And we'll kind of work our way to the floor, all right? So just jogging, again, just light on those toes, seeing how we're feeling, how are we feeling, we feeling all right? Good stuff, sometimes I feel like it's super hard to get our body move, moving in the morning. <laughs> all right, we're gonna hinge at the hips, a little inchworm action, so hinge at the hips, we're gonna walk all the way up to a good high plank position, you're gonna hold for a second, and then you're gonna walk straight back to that inchworm. We're gonna do this three times, okay? So walking out, hold, walk back in. Nice and tall. Good, so again, go at your own pace here. Remember, good strong core here at the bottom. Awesome, stand tall. When you are ready, you're gonna lunge out with whatever leg you would like, all right? Hands on the inside, that nice stretch. All right, we're gonna give one rotation to each side. So one coming to the right, one to the left. And then you're gonna switch legs. Then you're gonna bring the other leg forward. All right, one rotation to each side. Good, and then you're gonna meet me in the high plank position. Okay, so wherever you're at, high plank. And then when you are here, you got some mountain climbers. All right, so nothing too crazy. In and out those legs. Good job. Good. And then push back into that downward dog for me. All right, put out those feet, stretch those hamstrings a little bit. Nice. Good. All right, reset. We're going to walk our hands back towards our feet. Stand up nice and tall. Last little thing. We're going to do side to side little lunge shifts here. All right, get those hips opened up here and stretch. You can hold, all right? Or you can kind of do that motion back and forth. All right, so again, just getting some movement here. Working out those kinks. Good. All right, how are we feeling? Let's finish with one more round of jumping jacks. So bring those feet in, shake those legs out. All right, we got a few seconds here. Jumping jacks, and we'll get started. We're gonna get started with some cardio, okay? So just to get, again, those, that body warmed up a little bit before we move into our strength, you can relax, grab some water, okay? So, what we got here for cardio, we're gonna do three exercises. All right, in this first round, we're gonna do 30 seconds each, three rounds through. All right, so nice and quick. Little transition time in between, they're not too crazy complicated movements, all right? So we'll get my stopwatch going here. We're gonna start with forward and backward speed skaters. So what that's going to look like is, sorry, I'm going to reset my watch here. So speed skaters, we know that motion, right? Side to side. And we've done this before. This time you're going to go forward and backward in your space that you're working out in, okay? So forward and backward. So from the side here, get nice and wide, come forward, and then same thing back. We're going to follow up that with mountain climbers. Then we're going to come up for a little quick feet agility work. Okay, so 30 seconds. Push hard, it's not a long time, but again, just get that heart rate up, work those intervals before we move into strength, okay? You got this. So, I'm gonna do a little side angle here so you can see me. 30 seconds, forward and backward speed skaters. You ready? And here we go. So again, push off of those outer glutes, outer thighs, use the arms. All right, stabilize that core. Again, you can always tap that foot behind you if you need to. Okay, feel free, steady yourself, so as you're going backwards, be careful. All right, so yeah, push that pace, you got 10 more seconds. You got forward and backward here. Good, again, to the side, you got three, two, one, and relax. Mountain climbers on the ground, okay? You can choose, you can do cross body, you can do spider mountain climbers, you can do regular, okay? 30 seconds, ready? And here we go. So I'm gonna do some cross body. I'm gonna bring that knee to that opposite elbow. Again, you can be here, or if you can just slow yourself down, slow yourself down. I just want that butt 
down. All right, that back straight. Our core is tight. Our shoulders are right over those hands. Good job. Ten more seconds. You got it. Good. Breathe. Nice. Three, two, one. And relax. All right, your last little thing here. We got a little scissor kicks. All right. So, from the front, we're kind of switching those feet in the air. All right, a little scissor kick action. So, use those arms. Ready? And here we go. So, little scissor kicks back and forth, just in place. So, it's like a jump lunge without the lunge. <laughs> All right? So, again, think about if you have like a line, you're kind of hopping over that line. Good. I want that upper body movement, right? So, from the side here. Jab. Good. You have five more seconds. Keep breathing and relax. Alrighty. Round one. Check that off, right? Okay, how are we doing? We're going to go back to those skaters. 30 seconds. You ready? Here we go. Alright, the heart rate should be up, right? Be breathing a little heavier. Good. Light on those toes. Again, forward and backward speed skaters. Go with whatever pace you need, and if you're not comfortable doing the forward and backward motion, just go right stationary here, side to side. You got 10 more seconds. All right, so stay low, engage that core. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Three, two, one, and relax. Solid, my hair's getting my way. Mountain climbers. So maybe change up that variation for those climbers, right? You have 30 seconds. Ready? Here we go. So again, you can do spiders, where your knee comes to the outside, that same side elbow. You can do cross body, or you can do regular. Wherever you're at, plant those hands into the ground. All right. Drive with those knees. Squeeze that core. Come on, you can do this. Good job. Almost there, you have five more seconds. Awesome. And relax. All right, back to those uh, little scissor kicks, right? So remember, stationary, using those arms, switching those feet in the air. You ready? Here we go. So again, arms moving. All right. Core tight. Keep this chest nice and tall, right? We're not folding over. Good. Nice and soft. All right. Put on those toes. Good job. Come on, push hard. You can do this. We got one more round coming up. All right. Oh yeah. Last three, two, one, and relax. All righty. This is it. Thirty seconds each. A minute and a half of work. You got this. All right. Speed skaters. Last time. Ready? Here we go. So again, forward and backward as you go side to side. So a little coordination here. All right. Push hard. All right, use the arms. Steady yourself as you land. Good. Breathe. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. You got this. Ten more seconds. Good. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. And relax. Oh, yeah. My dog is just sleeping right here. She's like, whatever. All right, mountain climbers. You ready? Last time. Make it count, all you got, here we go. Nice. Drive in and out. Good. Woo, man. Start to feel the sweat coming. Here we go. Nice. I probably could turn the fan on, but you know I always hit it, so I don't wanna chop my fingers off. Okay, 10 more seconds. All right, good form here. Your nose are getting tired. Put that back down. Nice and straight. Three, two, one, and relax. Alrighty. Ooh, my hair's slipping out. So, scissor kicks. 30 seconds and we'll grab some water. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Alright, so 30 seconds. Scissor kicks. So again, from the side here. You're switching in the air. Alright, use those arms. You're still staying pretty tall. Alright, as quick as you can. Do what you're able to. In these 30. Good. 10 more seconds. You anything for 10. Nice. Good job. Good job. 
Almost there, and relax. Nice work, guys. Grab some water. I think we're warmed up now, right? I think so. I'm all warmed up. All right, we're gonna slow down a bit, all right? We got some core, or some strength. Cool, what am I talking about? We're gonna do a lower body, an upper body, and a core movement. 45 seconds of each exercise, three rounds, all right? So, you are going to grab one dumbbell. It does not matter what kind, all right? You can just as you need to. We're gonna do tactical lunges to start. So, on the side here, that is a backward lunge, and then you're gonna pass the weight through your legs to your other hand. So, for example, I'm lunging down, I'm gonna pass that weight, and get up, and then I'm gonna alternate. So, the important thing is, you gotta get nice and low so you can pass that weight underneath your leg, right? So, the lower you go, easier it's gonna be. You're gonna keep this leg bent at 90 degrees, you're gonna keep that knee right over that ankle, okay? Chest tall. If you're not comfortable passing the weight, just do backward lunges and try to hold some weights, okay? And if you don't have weights, again, lunges, body weight, perfectly fine, okay? We're gonna go into a different row exercise to follow. So, have some weights for the rows, handy, all right? So, have a little 15 second transition, all righty? So, reset my watch here, 45 seconds, remember, for the strength. Three rounds, you ready for those lunges? I'm ready, here we go. So, lunge deep and up. So nice and low, push up through that front heel. Good, nice. So again, you don't have to use the weight. I want you to think about keeping that chest tall, shoulders back, core is engaged. How low can you go? And again, you can adjust your weight, okay? You want to use a little heavier weight, go for it. If you want to take off some weight, do some lighter, go for it. All right, 45 seconds here. I'm going to do this for three rounds. Good. Nice work. You have five left. All right, squeeze in one or two more reps here. Whatever you can do, and relax. All right, for our next set, wide stance with those legs. All right, your hand bending over here, and we got a wide row, and down. So wide and down. So when you're doing this, all right, the sumo squat position, you're still keeping those shoulders back, not hunched over, right? Strong back, row, and down. I want you to pause at the top before you release, okay? Ready? And here we go. So from the side here. Again, keep those legs engaged, right? Good. Pause before you come down. I want those palms facing towards you. All right, row nice and wide, hold, and down. Keep that four tight, protect that low back. Again, strong here, wide stands. Good, keep breathing. Awesome, 15 more seconds, how are we doing? All right, good, breathe. Come on, get those reps in. Squeeze those shoulder blades back, three, Two, and one. Alrighty, set those weights down. We're gonna be on the ground here. You're gonna pretend like you have a water bottle or a dumbbell in front of you. You're gonna lean back a little bit on those hands. You're coming up and over. All right, a little V up crunch. Hands on the ground behind you, all right? 45 seconds, you ready? Here we go. So coming up, touch the ground either side. Use that core to get those legs up in the air. Lower core is engaged. Again, you can rest those hands behind you, all right? Do what you're able to, up and over, and you don't have to go as high, right? If you just need to go right here, a little up and overs, go for it. You can even do one leg at a time to keep that core nice and tight, all right? So you can do one leg, all right? Or you can do the full two legs, up and over, all right? Five more seconds, and we're gonna hit round two. All right, good, and relax. All right, how are we feeling? All right, check it out. Round two, tactical lunges. So again, if you wanna increase that weight, increase that weight a little bit, we got 45 seconds. You ready? Backward lunge, pass that dumbbell through. Join me, here we go. So again, get nice and deep. Push up through that front heel. All right, come on, the deeper you go, 
the more benefits you're gonna get from it, right? Good. Oh man, I'm sweating here. Good, keep that chest tall. Good, shoulders back. Nice. Guys are crushing it. Already over halfway, all right? Come on. What else would you love to be doing here this morning than working out? <laughs> 10 more seconds, okay? Come on. Dig deep. Good. Challenge yourself. Keep that balance as well, right? Always engage that core. You can relax. All right, so we got this sumo row. So adjust. If you didn't want that sumo row position, I just want to do a regular bent row. Go for it. Remember, we're holding though in that top phase before we release down. You ready? I'm ready. Join us when you can here. So again, little sumo. We got Y. Hold and down. Hold. Squeeze those shoulder blades towards the spine. Wide stance. Again, butt is tight. Keep those legs contracted. Core is tight. You're just looking ahead of you on the ground, okay? Good. You can do this, you got it. Again, adjust the weights as you need to. Nice. Keep breathing. Get nice and wide. Remember, drive those elbows back. Good. What we got, and relax. Nice job, sorry, I know you come up. Alrighty, V up crunches. So, V up and over, so you're on the ground. Again, put a weight there. You want to keep yourself honest, right? Up and over. Lean back on those hands. Ready? Here we go. All right, up and over. Crunch in. Use that lower core. Keep those legs up and around. Gonna work some hip flexors too, right? Good. Nice. Breathe. Come on. Good job. Again, if you need to go here. One leg, all right? Still just keep that core engaged. As you're sitting back, you're also engaging that core, okay? You can do this. 45 seconds. Not an easy one. Good. Up and over. Come on. Got three, two, one, and relax. Woo. Oh yeah. All right, you ready? Last time through. Let's grab those weights. We got our lunges. All right, make it count. Last effort here to challenge yourself. Increase that weight if you need to. Again, take off if you if you need to as well. Here we go. All right, so we're straight back as you lunge down. All right, keep those hips facing forward. Good. Pass that weight. All right. Be careful in that transition. Right. Good. Pass in, good, stand tall. Core should be tight. Breathe. Nice, how are those legs feeling? You doing all right? You have 15 more seconds with them. Okay? Oh yeah. Come on. Good. Keep breathing. Five more seconds. And you can relax. Alrighty. Rose, last time. So. Again, nice and wide. Try to hold at the top before you release down. All right, so find that position. All right, little sumo position. This is it, ready? Here we go. Good. Awesome, breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Good, and breathe out. So you pull up. Good. Again, drive those elbows back. Keep those legs engaged. All right, hold at the top. Nice job, 15 more seconds, all right? Do what you can. If you need to alternate, I wanna do one at a time. That's an option. All right, chest tall. Good. Nice. Three, two, one, and set those down. Nice work. Oh, man. All right, V up and overs. You ready? Okay. Again, last time, challenge yourself. 45, then we'll grab a break of water, break of water, and then we got some cardio. You ready? I know. It's like you like, forgot about the cardio, right? Hopefully not. Whew. Okay, we're just gonna get that heart rate up a little bit more. 
practice, hit intervals. My dog is just sitting here like, really? I know, Bo, I know. Good, guys, come on. Use that lower core, right? Lean back. Like I said, you can always do single leg options, up and over. All right, I still want you using that core. Nice. Here you go. Lean back. Five seconds, squeezing those reps. Woo! And relax. All right. Guys, nice job. Grab some water. All right. Shake anything out. Shake it out. Stretch if you're a little tight. How are we doing? Oh, oh. My dog just sneezed. What's he, babe? All righty. So, back to our cardio. Three rounds, 30 seconds each, okay? So we're gonna start with a little dumbbell swing action. So if you, or if you have a kettlebell, you can use a kettlebell, okay? So set this way aside. All right, so remember, we hinge at the hips and we swing forward. So butt goes back and we're coming through. We're gonna squeeze the butt when we get to the top. All right, we're gonna stand nice and tall. Drive through, power comes through those legs. All right, and then we're gonna do, of course, a burpee with a jumping jack, okay? So I'm breaking up a little bit. So it's not just full burpee on burpee on burpee, okay? And then we're gonna finish with some butt kickers, okay? So three rounds, you got this. It's the only burpees we're doing, all right? You can totally do it for 30 seconds, so don't focus on the burpees. <laughs> I know I keep talking about them, but yeah, it's fine. Alrighty, so, so here's on my watch here. 30 seconds, okay? So grab your weights for the swings. You ready? As many reps as you can in these 30. Ready? And here we go. So again, toes are gonna be pointed out a little bit on an angle, hinge back. Drive through. Breathe as you come forward. Breathe out, sorry. All right? Again, whatever pace you're good with, I want you to challenge yourself. Strong core here. Good. You have five more seconds. And then we're gonna go to those burpees. And relax. All right, so burpee, you can go all the way down to the ground if you want to. Either way, when you come up, you got a jumping jack. Ready? And 30 seconds. Here we go. So again, you can be here. High plank, jumping jack. All right? So you can walk those feet out. Walk those feet back in. Jumping jack. Yeah, you can go all the way to the ground. I just want you to get as many reps here as you can. All right, push yourself. You can do this. If you just want to do regular jumping jacks, do regular jumping jacks. All right, got three, two, and one. That wasn't too bad, right? That wasn't bad. Butt kickers, so we did them warm up, right? Nice and quick, heel towards the butt. Get those hamstrings going, you ready? Here we go. All right, so again, good. We're coming here. All right, pick that heel up. Lay on those toes, you're not comfortable, right here. Or you're doing here, all right? Either way, I want you guys moving. I want that heart rate going, okay? Yeah, 10 more seconds. Work these intervals, all right? Good job, you're doing great. Come on, good, and relax. All right, round one. Check that off. Hi, sweetie. All right, back to your swings. You ready? Adjust your weights if you need to, and join me. Here you go, guys. Squeeze the butt, come on. Drive through. Core should be tight, right? We're bringing that weight to about parallel to the ground. All right, come on. Breathe out as you come up. Nice, last 10. How many reps are we gonna get in here? All right, come on. Drive through. Awesome, three, two, and one. Solid, set that down on the ground. All right, you ready for the burpees? You can do it, all right? You got this. All right, just as you need, add those modifications. You ready? Here we go. Come up. Either way, you're finished with the jumping jack. All right, good. Again, you can stay in the high plank position. You can be here. And then you can also, again, like you said, walk those legs out, walk them in, jumping jack. 10 seconds, all right? Here we go. Come on. Good. And you guys can relax. 
Alrighty. Whew. How are we feeling? Butt kickers. You ready for this? 30 seconds. And let's get started. Alright, so try to keep those arms moving as well. Alright? Again, here if you need. Or if you just want to jog it out, jog it out in place. Alright? Whatever you got. Come on, we got one more round. Coming up, you're doing great. Alright? Good. Breathe here. How quick can you go? Come on. Five more seconds. Yeah, yeah. We got this. And relax. Alrighty. Woo. Last round. All right. Finish strong. Bring it back to those swings. Grab that weight. Increase if you can. All right. Come on. You can do this. You ready? Come on. Sideways here. We'll drive through. Power with those legs, right? That snap of the hips. We'll drive that weight forward. Awesome. 45 or 30 seconds. Sorry, not 45. 30. We got 10 of them left. <laughs> Can you imagine? We might have done 45. No, we did 30. Don't worry. I'm keeping track of time. Right, we're still waking up a little bit. And relax. Now I'm wide awake now. Good. Alrighty. Last 30 seconds of your burpees. Okay? You can do this. Last 30. You can do anything for 30. Come on, join me. Come up. You got a jumping jack. Alright, again. Whatever modification you'd like. Come all the way down, and then all the way up. Add that jumping jack. Good stuff. 10 more seconds. Get two more reps in. Come on. Good. And relax. Wow, nice job, guys. My dog's looking at me like, what were you just doing? All right, butt kickers, 30 seconds last time. You ready? Let's finish strong. We'll take a break, and we'll move on. Here we go. Hi, honey. Come on. Here we go. Light on those toes. All right, this is it. Kick that butt with the heel. All right, so get that foot up. Light on those toes. Core is engaged. We're breathing. You're doing great. I'm sure you're looking fantastic right now. Probably slitting this like I am. Good. Five seconds left. Here we go. Nice. And relax. Solid. All right, shake it out. Nice. Grab some water. Man, oh man, my hairs are falling out. Good stuff, guys. You guys are crushing it. All right, you ready for some strength? I'm ready. So, 45 seconds again. All right, three rounds. We're going to start with a little sumo deadlift, okay? I want you to focus on with this exercise going slow on the way up. No, down, sorry. Slow on the way down, all right? So, what I want you to do, grab those weights, all right? So just like we did for those uh, rows last set, and for the swings, toes point out an angle. Weights in front, actually, yeah, slow on the way down, all right? Once you reach where it's comfortable, you're gonna stand up. Just like the kettlebell swing, you're gonna squeeze your glutes when you get to the top, so from the side here, hinge down, butt goes back, so that you feel that stretch, and then come on up. So do that almost like a two or three second count down. A little eccentric work, that lengthening of that muscle, all right? Keeping it under tension as much as possible. So we're gonna start there, and then we're gonna do a little bridge with the chest press to follow on the ground, okay? So, adjust your weights. You can use one weight if you wanna use one weight for the deadlift. That's totally fine too. If you wanna use two, go for it, okay? So, 45 seconds, you ready? Here we go. So, remember, slow, down phase, shoulders back, and then coming up. Just feel those hamstrings working. Back of those legs, and up. So like a three count down. Once you kind of got three, you're coming back up for one. All right, so nice and slow. Good, go as far as you can. Again, it's gonna feel different for everyone depending on how flexible you are what your mobility is like, how tight those hamstrings are, all right? Good, strong back here, core is always engaged. Nice. Good, you got five more seconds, Alrighty. Yeah. And finish up your rep here, good. We're gonna go on the ground, we're gonna be in a hip bridge here, all right, with an alternating chest press. Of course, now my dog tries to get 
up. So you're going to be up on the bridge. Arms are up. You're going to release one arm at a time. All right? So, 45 seconds. Okay? You ready? And get started. Here you go. There you go, Bob. All right, so you're in a bridge. Alternate which arm you push up with. Okay? But you're keeping your arms at the top. All right? So bridge. Engage the glutes. Engage the hamstrings. Pushing up. Good. Alternate. Awesome. Good job. So don't go down. Back up. Get a good 90 degree angle. Squeeze that chest. Keep those legs working as well. Nice job, guys. Good. Under 10 here. All right. Work that chest. Good. Three, two, one. And relax. All right. On the ground here, we got our core. We're going to do a leg raise with a little high crunch. So you're going to raise those legs up. You're going to crunch up for those toes, and then legs go back down. So up, crunch, and then down. All right, a little combo movement. You ready? And here we go. Keep these folks on. Keep that back, lower back, on the ground. Just with those leg raises. So you're coming down, up, add a little crunch, and then reset. So leg, crunch up. Try to get those shoulder blades off the ground on those crunches. Again, you can... Do like one leg at a time. All right, use the upper core to kind of get that crunch. Lower core to keep those legs moving, all right? Get it crunch, and then a leg lower here. Breathe. You got five more seconds. All right, you can rest those hands underneath your butt if you need to. And relax. All right, nice job. We are back up, all right? Sumo deadlift here. All right, remember, slow on the way down. So, here am I at, all right? Slow on the way down, adjust your weights if necessary. You ready? Second round, 45. Just slow. And then squeeze your butt. Slow down, one count up. Good. And butt goes back to the wall or whoever else is behind you. All right, come on. Feel those hamstrings working. Back of those legs. Get one weight or two, and if you don't have any weights, or don't want to use weight, you can do this exercise without weight, which is awesome. Good. Get about 10 more seconds. All right. Breathe. Good. Last three. Two, one, finish the rep wherever you're at. Very nice, all right, on the ground. So we're still going to keep uh, those uh, hamstrings in check with our bridge, right? And we're alternating that chest press. So keep those arms straight up ahead, and you're lowering every other. You ready? 45. We're up. And here we go. Slow them down. Control. All right? So and you're, when you're in this hip bridge, right? Butt is tight. Hamstrings are tight. Okay? So keep... The legs engaged here as we're working the upper body. You're gonna think about that chest squeezing as you push up. Good. Awesome job. Bring those weights together at the top, right? Bring that full arc, that full range of motion. You got 10 more seconds. All right, dig deep. Nice. Three, two, one, and finish whatever rep you're on. Good job. All right, set those weights down. Remember, leg raise with that little crunch, okay? So, again, rest that those hands behind your lower back and butt if you need some more support. You ready? Here we go. So, raise up, crunch, and then back down. So, on that crunch, you're lifting your shoulder blades off the ground. Good. Reach for those toes. Nice and controlled as you lower those legs, right? Keep that core engaged. High, and then down. Good stuff. We're about halfway, right? You're doing great. We have one more round, and we're done. All right, you guys are working hard today. Keep it going. Nice. Good job, good job. Keep working. You have five more seconds, all right? Good, and relax. Awesome. 
I'm feeling that before. You guys feeling it before? All right, this is it. So grab those weights, sumo deadlifts, all right? Slow on the way down, last round, all right? Finish strong, all right? Doing great. Let's finish this Thursday off on a good note here. Here we go. All right, so again, you guys are working hard here today. Get those cardio intervals out of the way. Last set of our strength, and three count down if possible. And then back up. Again, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Stand tall at the top, or go shoulder blades back. Sumo deadlift. Awesome. 15 more seconds. Good. Dig deep here. Come on. Nice. Last five. All right. Get one more rep in. Wherever you're at, one more rep for me. Awesome. And finished. Great job, guys. Okay. You ready for the hip bridge? This is your last chance. If you want to increase weight, increase some weight. All right. Hold the bridge. Again, you don't have to hold the bridge. You can keep your legs out extended behind, or in front of you, all right? You ready? All right. And here we go. Good. Again, come down and up. Good. Squeeze that chest. Hold that bridge. All right, control on the way down. Again, take your time. You don't need to rush this. I'm gonna keep those muscles working, stay focused, squeeze that chest. Good, steady at the top here. We're still working that other arm, right? As we're holding that weight above our head. Nice, last five seconds. All right, good, and finish, awesome. All right guys, this is it, 45 seconds, and then we are done for today, okay? You got this, leg raise, add a little crunch, and then back down. All right, this is it. Ready? And join me. So reach up and down. Good. So again, you can rest those hands underneath your butt if you need to in that leg, lower in that leg raise. Coming up, crunching. Use that upper core, remember? Again, if you just wanna do leg raises, just do leg raises, okay? And again, you can always do single leg, all right? Single leg if you need to. Good, you have 15 more seconds. All right. Come on, keep breathing. Squeeze that core so that your lower back is glued to the ground. Awesome, three, two, one, and oh, relax. Wow, nice work, guys. Let's stay on the ground, so grab some water. I want you guys to meet me back down here on the, on the ground. Good job, how are you feeling? Doing good? Solid. That was a pretty good workout. A little sweaty. A little mix and match, you know, a little cardio strength. Let's just get here. We're just going to bend one leg in. All right, and then you're just going to reach for those toes. All right, so we'll stretch, cool down. If you do have to go, have a great rest of your Thursday. Almost Friday. Almost there. <laughs> again, great job. So feel that nice stretch. And if you can't reach for your toes, that's totally fine. What did you say? Oh my goodness. <laughs> How are you feeling, Glenn? How are you feeling? I'm sure you crushed it. All right, let's touch that other leg. All right, so keep stretching here. And reach over. And hope you guys found ways to challenge yourself. Again, maybe you have some new moves you haven't done in a while. But again, you guys did great. You worked hard. You got moving this morning, right? Sometimes that's all that matters. Just get moving, get that heart pumping a little bit. All right, let's do a little butterfly stretch if you're flexible enough to do this, all right? So feet together. You're gonna press some inner pressure of those inner thighs, okay? So not on the knees. Kind of get those ab abductors, or adductors, sorry. I know my muscles. <laughs> adductors here. So again, stand tall. Good. All right, we're gonna do a figure four stretch on the ground. So get those glutes a little bit more. So you're gonna have Legs bend here. You're gonna bring one ankle here on top, kind of on top of the other knee. All right. You're gonna sit up nice and tall. You're gonna feel that stretch right along here, the outside of those glutes. All right. So here's where we are. Got a nice stretch. Oh yeah, this one feels great. 
Again, you can always adjust the position of that leg on the ground, okay? The angle's gonna change the how like deep of a stretch you're gonna get. So adjust here, all right, let's release. Get the other leg or across that angle over top of that knee. Stand tall, feel that good stretch in those glutes. Nice. Good job. Again, as you're stretching, you make sure you guys are breathing, right? Good, all right, let's release this. Let's flip on over here. All right, we're gonna do some cat cows. All right, chest the back out. So, you're gonna arch the back. Breathe in. As you breathe out, you're gonna round the back. You're gonna push that stomach towards your spine, right? And then you're gonna arch, inhale, and then round, exhale. We're gonna do five here, so that's two. Inhale, and exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale one more time with me. Inhale, good. And last exhale. Nice, let's sink back into that child's pose, right? So you're gonna sink those hips back towards your feet. You're gonna inch those arms of the fingertips forward to get a good stretch in the back. And if you're feeling good, you wanna thread your arm through across your body. You're gonna feel a deeper stretch. So as you're threading through, you're gonna feel a deeper stretch here on the outside, all right? We did some rows, right? Those Throws are going to work those lat muscles. Good. Then when you're ready, you're going to come out of that. You're going to switch. You're going to put your other arm through, or you're just holding the child's pose, okay? So whatever you need. So we got some hip stretch here in the child's. we got upper body. Good. Untuck that. We're going to do a little downward dog, all right? Incorporate some yoga here and for some stretches. So you can pedal off those feet. I just really want you to sink those heels towards the floor, okay? Get a good calf and hamstring stretch. Again, soft upper body, high nut neck. Good. And let's have, let's walk our hands, or walk our feet towards our hands, all right? You can keep that bend. And we're just gonna stay down here in this little forward fold position. All right, so let those legs hang, or arms hang, sorry. And then we'll slowly roll on up, one vertebrae at a time. Roll those shoulders back, and let's bring that arm across here for a good stretch. You can roll your ankle if you want to. You can roll your wrist out as you're holding the stretch. Great job, though, guys. Crushed it today. Um, I'm not teaching tomorrow, but I am going to post a workout. All right, it's going to be like a full workout, so I'm probably going to do it this afternoon or this morning to myself, okay? So stay tuned for that. It's, I'm going to upload it to YouTube and then um, share it on my page. So just keep an eye out for that. I think it's like a thousand rep challenge kind of workout, a little workout of the day. All right, but I'll make an announcement too, all right? So you're gonna get those triceps with hand flat in the back. Good. Good, let's switch arms for your last time. Good, and if there is anything else that you need to stretch, feel free to do so, as always, all right? I'm just getting through some basic ones here. Good, let's reach up, arms up overhead, maybe add a little back bend here, just the side, a little back bend, and fold all the way down. Good, and slowly bring yourself back up to standing. I'm gonna give those shoulders a little roll back. Awesome, all right. Well guys, thank you again for coming. Appreciate it, hope you had a great workout. Feeling good, feeling re-energized and refreshed to start the day. Um, I hope you have a great Thursday. Um, I will not see you tomorrow, but again, I hope you guys have a great weekend. We will, um, again, look out for my schedule for next week for classes and workouts, and you know where to find me, all right? So again, thank you so much. You guys crushed it, way to go, all right? Have an awesome rest of your day, week, and weekend. I'll see you next time.